Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we are continuing our journey through Darkest Dungeon 2. And before we start, I have a question for you because I was wondering yesterday what should I be doing forward because at some point we will be running out of content in this early access. So until so from then until the release date, what should we be doing? I was thinking that I shouldn't just grind away on a version, on the experimental version that at some point we will just lose and we will have to start from scratch either way. We could, if that is something that you want to see, you want to see more skills being unlocked and more content being unlocked, I could do that. But I think I would prefer to wait for the release version or the next update, big update, and just go for games that are similar to Darkest Dungeon. There are three games that I've seen in the past years that I haven't played, but I am curious to try out. And they are Deep Sky Derelict, which is something you are a space scavenger, you go on ships, you explore them, and you try to get things out of it. It's still like a four-man party, if I remember correctly, and it's Darkest Dungeon. All of them are Darkest Dungeon-like. Then there's Vambrace, Cold Soul, which I don't know how good it is. It has like this kind of anime style to it with dwarves and elves and things like that. Might be interesting to play as well. I heard at least in some reviews that it's actually a good experience. It look, It's better than what you'd think at first. And then there's the latest release of Circus Electric, which once again is one of the more newest or is the newest addition to this kind of genre that seems interesting to me as well once again the reviews are fairly positive so think about it what do you want to see it's the derelict the vambrace or the circus let me know what you think i should be doing going forward i don't think grinding mindlessly is necessarily that great we'll see for now, I've equipped on the coach all of these, so we're getting 30% more traveling heal and these reduced prices at the inn and everywhere else, so I am going to buy the adrenaline, I am going to buy Something some to food, I'm just gonna buy road. food for three of our party members, I'm not gonna worry too much about the rest. Let's see, we have another pipe with if we want to improve the relationship. We could get very close to forming a bond here, but I feel like we're okay for now. I decided in between episodes to go with this. Uh, if at the start of the turn we get two blindness, if we're blind, 66% crit. The reason why I decided to go with this, even though at first I was against it, is because with the leper, if we have a combo token on one of the enemies, we ignore blindness. I hope that it still works like this, right? Like we do, can do chop while being blinded. So I'm thinking that with this together, we are going to be able to add a lot of damage very quickly. So that's what I'm trying to see if it's going to work. With the food, I'm just gonna throw it on the other members. The tank is a tank, we don't need to worry about it. He also gets this 25% resistance to stunning, to being stunned. But we also take more damage if we get stunned. But there's not a lot of enemies that can do stun. Plus, it, this is necessary in order to equip this. With that being said, I've upgraded his withstand. I've upgraded here, what? Uh, I think Dead of Night. Yes, Dead of Night. And that's all that we can do. So let's set on a journey. Everywhere in ruin. Plus another plus 30% to traveling heal, but we would lose more flame. Visit 2 plus Oblivion's Ingress. I mean, that can be difficult, but this might be worth it. Complete the region with no coach upgrades, I do want to go with them. And, or we could go for the sluice to get some cash and a quick round. But let's try to go into the tangle. And tents, the front lines of a war that was never fought. I feel like with the amount of crit that we get now, 
on the leper. We should go for the general. I mean, he can reach it from the front line. Rewards only. Resignation. Let's check out a few elements though before that. I guess the big problem is we do not have good stress relief. And this enemy causes a lot of stress relief. Oh, a lot of stress. Okay, maybe we will avoid it. Let's go for the creatures then instead. Yeah, we will do this. For this map we are not gonna go into the lair because we do not have good stress relief. Everybody wants something else, so yeah. Okay. We got another goal completed. Now these goals might not seem so impressive, and it's what I thought at first, that they weren't that impressive. But it does speed up unlocking elements or items or levels. So I feel like that is good. We have Amorous, the heart still beats, desire will which is not die. ideal for our healer to be Amorous, but there we go. We have a new, a new relationship. Hopeful, great. Inspiration unites the hopeful. Creatures then. Okay, a priest, one of these big knights, and a foot soldier. Should I just throw a poison dart? Probably. Probably a good start. We're gonna attack the bishop first. Just gonna throw a blinding gas in the back as well. Oh, by the way, the Plague Doctor now has this, the Strong Shackles. We'll do with stand, make sure that for the moment we're taking our as much damage as we can. And we're gonna try to apply some fire here. Malaise. Measured and Penance, okay, so he's preparing his big attacks. He has the chance to apply a lot of bleeding. This might be a bit dangerous. Okay, you started on fire now. I could try to do this. Sure, let's do it. We have a combo token on it, so we'll be able to heal it, hit it with, even with the leper. Seventy-one percent chance to crit. Pretty good, if you ask me. There we go. Yeah, I feel like this plan is going to work for us. Let's throw more poison darts in the back. Do I want to get a repost here? It's gonna hurt. Let's throw an Oxus Blast on the front. Ah, it didn't kill it. I was hoping it would. But at least we avoided a, a bad crit there. Fighting Blade, this is bleeding, but it re we resisted it. I'll just do a Searing Strike for now. Throw another one of these. Or do, let's do Dead of Night to reduce our stress, bring them closer. Yeah, and now we can at least throw a Plague Grenade without having to worry that we're going to get a repost. You gain defense. So I almost feel like it would be sad not to do this. Is sad the right word? I don't know if sad is the right word. Okay, we're bleeding. So we can do a cauterize now. This is going to help us. What do I do with you? I guess we'll risk a repost here. This is 
We got a bad repost. But we got some free stress really relief and we can try to cause some damage. Pick to the face, it is good damage. On guard, so it's gonna do repost again. Ah, it's very unfortunate that we don't have a way to remove repost here. Can do cauterize there. Yeah, I don't know exactly. I'm not sure whether I should be risking this in order to kill it. But we're gonna try. Or Blight. Probably pick to the face is better just to go through. And now I can do a Noxious Blast which will have a chance to kill it. Eight. Ah, it didn't. Ooh. So this did not pay off for us. Very unfortunate. What matters most. And we are heading towards the lair. Alive, if possible. Yeah, I shouldn't have risked. Especially because we're very close. Like we have some road heals. They all want to fight, we can get some initiative and extra damage, so we'll do that. Okay. Heal or not, because we can do Solemnity. Let's try to do some blinding gas in the back. Manage to apply at least one blindness. Just gonna throw spread some, some damage, just trying to remove the dodges. Yeah, Rabbit Rush. I can't do with stand just yet, we need to do Solemnity here. Okay, and with you... Let's just cause damage to this worm. Okay, vulnerability, that's a bit unfortunate. Okay, so far so good. Do I want to put a combo token on anyone? Or do I just... let's just do straight up damage. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Why did you become vulnerable? Oh, I see. Bloodthirsty. We'll throw a play grenade in the back. That's one blight. We'll do with stand here. At least we remove the vulnerable. And we even managed to get an upgraded block there. I will try to take another one of you out. Okay. Uh, that is a bit unfortunate overall, but I feel like we could work with this, right? Battlefield Medicine, Cure It, do all that. This one died. I can do a Cauterize there. Or I could try to... Let's throw up smoke screen here. Okay, Combo Token and Blindness. Which means that with you, I have a 50% chance to hit because of your dodge. But when we do, that crit is really amazing. So yep, it, the plan works. Ooh. Let's see. Solemnity wouldn't really add anything right now. I'm gonna do this purge just to clear corpses and bring this spider closer to us. I wonder what type of of attacks it can do from the first lines. Okay. Bite, which does reach the back targets. So 
So this guy doesn't really have a lot of weaknesses apparently. A pick to the face. And we're just gonna throw a noxious blast. Which brings us to the next turn. Three dogs. Dogs are really annoying. But this guy is more annoying than dogs. Hopefully we don't get a disease anytime soon, but there's the risk for it is very high. 60 blight resistance. Sure, we'll have to at least try to apply. Let's throw a blinding gas first. I think we can do with stand now. No, we cannot, and I can't do solemnity yet. 25% chance to hit. We're gonna try at the end of the day. Even a 25% chance to do those crits. Though it goes through two rolls. First of all, whether we hit or not, and then through the crit. I can bring you a bit closer. Well, let's do that. Ah, it didn't work. Keep throwing the poison darts. Okay, we managed to apply poison there. I'm gonna try a play grenade now. Patch brings us closer. We resisted the disease and that is good. We'll do withstand, track the damage. The only problem is that they're getting this many dodges. Okay, a bit of bleeding. It resisted disease as well. Okay. Yeah, it got a repose, but the dodge... It didn't uh, help us. What do I do now? can try to get some smoke screens or ransack here. Sure. Let's see, I feel like we could do solemnity here and it would be good. With you guys, blinding gas first. And we are not hidden, but I can do flashing daggers because it can still apply blights. Good, the worm died. Overall, we're in a good situation because our party has enough area attacks. Let me do this smoke screen because we're gonna apply a combo token and I'm gonna do Dead of Night here just to bring them closer. This will provide us with an opportunity to hit them. Yeah, we might just take this guy out. 100% chance to do 5 to 9 damage but hopefully that crit will work and it did. Beautiful stuff. So now I just need to get through the dodges here. We don't have many opportunities to do that. Unless I go invisible. At which point, let's see, there was an attack that ignored dodges, right? This. Bravo. Beautiful! Bravo indeed. But right now I can't do anything with you in that position. So I'll just have to move. Let's see. Please do not provide me with the disease. And you did not. Smoke screen worked. It's blind. It has a combo. Maybe it's gonna miss. It did not. But with enough attacks here, maybe we'll, we're going to win. Ah! 
Well, we're first. There we go. One mastery point. We got minus three stress to all heroes at the inn and plus one to mastery. That is really good. If we can upgrade those blight attacks, the loathing festers. Going to it's going to be really good. Especially in, at the end, like what I'm thinking is with the eye, if I can put a lot of damage over time. Up ahead, academic studies. Regrettable research. Okay, so this is from the research that we've done, at least in this story. What's this? A widow and urchin and two lost souls. Play grenades? Noxious blast? Let's do the play grenades first. The urchin will have a chance to act first, so can't do a whole lot. The slow suffering begins. You get some fire and you might just die. I will do with stand, attract the damage, attract the stress. But with you, let's throw this poison dart on the urchin. Okay, the widow died. And the chomp. Hmm. Searing strike, sure. The urchin has the ability now to do some sort of attack. Oh, it went invisible and now it can do the, cr the crit. Okay. Can it do only from the last position? We learn upon no, the last action. two. So maybe it would have been a better idea if I would have focused on removing these corpses first. Ooh, beautiful thing. That repost worked really well. Should I do that of night here? I mean, sure, maybe we'll lag before it. And if we do, ah, we didn't. It. Haunting melody, a lot of stress there. But we got a free heal, which helps. But we don't really have a way to heal the stress. Hmm. So that is a bit unfortunate. Maybe I should check a merchant. 22% extra health. I think we're going to add it to Bonnie. Just because she's in second line. Yeah, neither of these reduce stress. This on camp study evokes a feeling of the familiar. Okay. Does it not? Nobody wants to visit it, and I feel like that works for us. If I do this, we wouldn't be necessarily closer. Let's try to create some bonds for bonds for money for our fire starter every time I say fire starter I think of prodigy and it's that song in my head I'm the fire starter you know the rest trying to keep it clean okay so what do who do we pick we could get extra damage, but if I pick her, once again, we're getting closer to forming a bond. And that might mean stress relief. Inseparable. Two facets of the same I think Hopeful has more chances to reduce stress than Inseparable. Two Cherub and two Evangelists. Not the worst. Face your confession. I guess. Ooh. 
a chance to do two stress. Okay, maybe it is the worst. <laughs> gonna be a bit problematic here let's attract the first one in the misdirected in the list mm. okay there is some stress release that is cool now what do I want to do I think I just want to focus on on one bang list at a time the cherubs will be annoying But I feel like more times than not, they will hit like both of these first front lines, and that might be even more dangerous. Big to the face here. We're gonna try to go through the blindness. It didn't happen this time. Let's supply some fire. We brought it to Death's door, so it might kill it. And I'm gonna try to throw a bad plague grenade in the back. We removed their dodges, but nothing else. You really didn't need to jump in front of that. Hey. Okay. Ooh. Ugly crit. That's a lot of stress on our Plague Doctor. That is problematic now. Sightless Miasma, that is for blindness, right? Yep. Trying again once to go through these defenses. I'll be able to cauterize because that is a lot of bleeding damage. What do I do with you? Let's do flashing daggers. Because it will apply blight. Measured and steady. Ooh, you you have a lot of problems. Let's do blinding gas, but we've missed because we were blinded. Ah, I always uh, underestimate the cherubs for some reason. I guess I always had ways to control the amount of stress. Let's continue throwing these daggers. That's even more blight there. We got a nice crit. Play grenade in the back. Hopefully one of the cherubs will die. We got another crit there with weakness. Okay, the cherub is dead. I could do a cauterize here. Let's take down the evangelist. Maybe it's going to die now. And it did. Hmm. I think I can do solemnity. A miscalculation, perhaps. I'm still trying to figure out like what should I do with the plague doctor. I'm gonna do blind first. Because it will have at least another turn. Face your confession, okay, it missed, that is good for our stress. Let's try to bring it closer. Come on! Lunch! That's it. Hmm. nightmares and blaze the cure blindness that but that will if we cure blindness we won't have the crits anymore plus 75 health but to reduce damage that's definitely the something that I want to do to our plague doctor oh but we need a stained item Okay, we'll protect you from disease. We'll try to keep this on us, but... Yeah, this amount of stress will be problematic. 
have a battle coming up. Resigned to the end of things. They waited for death. And still they wait. I'm not sure we'll be able to avoid a meltdown there. Neither of them wants to fight it. Only you want to fight it. But you will lose some relationship either way. So I feel like the best thing is to do this. A simple choice. At least it should be. Let's go to the left. I know it creates more problems here. Like she's very close to a meltdown. But the meltdown wouldn't really ruin her bond. At least not yet. Not unless she takes even more stress. And let's try to take her. Maybe we'll find a skill now that will help us in stress. Chapter 5. Do, Do no, no harm. harm. Disposal of the body was a procedural affair. A carboy of acid would dissolve the thing and no evidence would remain. In the weeks that followed, however, she found herself unable to focus, sitting motionless at her desk, paralyzed by the ceaseless wailing that reverberated in her mind. Okay, so this is the last chapter. What did we get here? Magnesium rain. It clears corpses and all of the targets get two fire damage. Disorienting blast. It will shuffle the target. It will daze it and there's a 25% chance that it will weaken it. Ooh, I mean, it has no stress relief. This will be problematic for us. But these skills are cool. Do I want... Can I replace her? And do I want to replace anything from here? Like, this could help to cause it a lot of damage, right? But I haven't really used it. This one seems like it's going to do more. I can see some combos going for us. An elementary problem, is it not? Okay, if I go towards Oblivion's Ingress, you'll still hold... You'll stay at 8 stress. Forward. Now... Lamentably, there is no other choice. What were we fighting for? Traveling heal. A lot of traveling heal. And these guys are pretty squishy. I'll have to do it. I was thinking of going to the left because then she would have a meltdown. And her relationship right now is manageable. Like if she goes down by three pips, they are still in a good, they are still have that bond. Okay. Let's focus on you first. He's gonna do on guard or something like that. You will go through the armor. If I do Noxious Blast, it's gonna... Almost kill it. We'll do it stand here. And that's we will attract the damage. Good. Now, I'm just gonna try to kill it here. We've weakened it if nothing else. We'll throw a poison dart. Yeah, we started applying the blight on it. I'm gonna try to hit you. <laughs> we got a double hit there, and at least the fire starter got the fire starter got the crit. Amorous. Oh come on, just reduce its stress. Don't need anything else. Let's do blinding gas here. Okay, and it removed the blinding. Interesting. So... Oh, but the Cursor of Death can be done only from the third or third position onward. 
So we definitely have to replace it. I'll take a hit here. Let's see, 50% chance. Ah. Calculation, perhaps. Has no more repost, which means that we could do either a pick to the face or apply more blight. Let's apply more blight. That's a 10 damage, I think it works. Okay, we got a bit more stress relief, which is good for us. Let's heal them. This wound at least has been tended to. The fiend's strength dwindled. Ah. Still got the chance to do a large attack on us. But there we go. The one pleasant in the extreme. Convert is noble. Protection to upgrade, upgraded protection. If first in round we don't have to worry. I mean it really depends on who do we put it on. Five, three, four. So I could say that I want to give this to you. I'm not sure how often you'll get that protection, but maybe there's a random chance that you will. I'm sure it's better to add it to him, but you already have all the trinkets that you need. We have another road battle to the Oblivion's Ingress. But this one is easier. The only thing that I should be worried about is stress. Got a double attack there. Almost took out the Widow. Let's see. She will act next, so I can do something like a Noxious Blast here. Great, took out the Lost Soul. I feel like we could take her out as well. With flashing daggers. Urchin, let's see. You are doing this. We have heart light, right? So there we go. I can do a nice lunge. Perfect. One less obstacle in our path. Bleeding resistance, some healing received from skills. I think this might be better. Here. Bleed resistance while losing fire resistance, sure, we'll do that. Let's put this concoction on. I feel like we're gonna get more fire damage from Oblivion's Ingress if uh, we get one of those Hellions. All of them wanna fight. How close are you to forming some bonds? Not close enough. You are closer. You know what? Let's try to do this, especially since you are going to go into a meltdown. And the amount of hope that we have right now is not helping us at all. Let me do a smoke screen. And please miss. Thank you. a bit of stress we'll do withstand although it's not gonna matter because the evangelist will attack throw a play grenade in the back and i will do flashing daggers here just to continue applying blight but they both resist it okay 
first trumpet. We got some bleeds. Let us add more fire here. We got a beautiful crit. And with flashing daggers, maybe we can take one of the evangelists out. And with the plague grenade in the back. Okay, we might take one of the Hellions. Ooh, the amount of crits. Like, look at that stress go. So what do I do now? I guess we can't heal both of us at the same time. I can apply a burn salve over here. And I can do one on myself as well. Good, one of the heralds has died. We'll do solemnity here. And I am going to try... We'll try a smoke screen here. Ah. Okay. Another first trumpet. Good. One of the evangelists has passed away at least. You might die as well. Let me try to get some health back and reduce some stress. Cauterize, pretty much can heal ourselves entirely, even got a crit heal. With you, 50% chance to do a nice crit. I have to upgrade that chop attack. Now let's see, let's apply this potion on us. And just throw an Oxious Blast on the Vangelist. Good, Herald has died. Which leaves us with you. I can do another Cult Rise and we'll do it. And that's the battle. But effective. 10 flame, we gain a bit more hope, that is good. We have one, minus 10 damage per negative token. Okay, we have a dark impulse, which means that we can provide the plague doctor with extra health. Right, we don't care about damage, so we can throw this here. But we care about health, which will make it stronger. If we miss, I feel like adding this is better, right? If we miss... Sure. Now we have a straight path to Oblivion's Rampart. We're getting some negative banter because we have a very low hope. There's some stress relief. I think the Plague Doctor will make it through this without any kind of meltdown and that is a good that is good news. Really depends what's gonna happen now. The party is not the worst. Altar of Obsession, okay, so that is a taunting and weaving. I will focus on the altar of course. Just gonna do this. Plague grenade as well. First trumpet, okay, resisted some of them. I can reach you by doing this and pull you towards us. Let's do that. Thank you for the repost. It applied some blight, so that makes me so happy. I will do with stand to try to attract some of the damage. We'll see if it even happens. Nocturne Commune that provides it with the crits. Inversion. 
Does inversion work on the entire party or what? That's... It's a bit unfortunate. It has two taunts. But let me continue to apply these blights. Hmm. Hurt a bit. Yeah, we'll try to ransack here. Okay. You are blinded, so there's a 50% chance that you will hit. You hit, but you didn't crit. 3, 2... Okay, let's try to focus on the altar. We got a nice crit there. We might be able to do... Let's see. Poison dart. Ah. The taunt there stopped us from killing the altar. Bone weaving. That's for protection, but he might die either way. Let's see, do I heal or do I throw a Plague Grenade? I think Plague Grenade is better, right? Yep. Nocturne Commune, getting more crits and more dodges. The same with the second Evangelist. Should I just do a Purge and throw them in the back? I think it's probably better to throw a smoke screen here. Because now we can not only hit, but we might be able to do a good crit. A 14 crit there. Almost killed it. Let's see, please let us act first. And it did. Let's see if we manage to kill it. Just death's door. At least we've weakened it. The DOTs might kill it either way. And it did. Okay, lucky rolls overall. Can't complain too much. Get some free stress relief. Thank you very much. You are not able to reach the back line. So if I focus them on damage. This is going to be better. Come on. Let us act first. Look at that. Death's door. Die. That's it! We've made it through, we've reached the inn with a lot of stress, but we've reached it. And I feel like, let's see, do we want debuff resistance or stun resistance for you? I think the stun resistance might be better. Because there's a low chance that we will get stunned though. Oh, I really do not know. Let's put the debuff. Let's stay with the debuff resistance. We'll see if it pays off or not. You are at 9 stress. Please do not get a meltdown until we reach the inn. There it is. Okay, we can relax for a moment here. And until tomorrow, I hope you have enjoyed the episode. We'll see whether we make it. We've come here in summers of years gone to write, think, and rest. We'll see if we manage to get to the next inn, but what is this? The Jinx on Baldwin. Apply to attacker, blindness, weakness, vulnerability, or a combo token. Okay, interesting. Would have been better on someone else. But Bonnie gained 20 constitution. Given that she's a second line warrior, that is going to help us. Audrey gained distress. That's a bit unfortunate, but that's going to have to be it. As I said, thank you very much for watching everyone. And I'm, I'm waiting for your feedback, like what would you like to see going forward once we've completed everything that we could do in Darkest Dungeon 2 at this moment, until the full release of the game. And until then, have a wonderful day.